Can a luxury SUV really combine family-friendly features with thrilling performance? And can it stand out in a crowded market without a major redesign since 2017? Today, we're diving into the 2025 Audi Q7, an SUV that aims to do just that. With its sleek design, tech-packed interior, and powerful engine options, the Q7 promises practicality and pleasure. From minor styling tweaks to an upgraded infotainment system, we'll cover all the changes and see if they address some of its long-standing issues. Is this the right SUV for you? Stick around to find out. And hey, if you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of luxury SUVs, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more reviews and insights. The 2025 Audi Q7, a mid-size luxury SUV, might not immediately grab your attention. But don't let that fool you. It boasts a sleek design and a high-tech interior with three rows of seats. Plus, it's packed with power. The Q7 is a prime example of German craftsmanship paired with driving pleasure. This year, it gets some minor tweaks in styling and an upgraded infotainment system. However, these changes don't entirely fix its cramped third-row seating and limited cargo space. Audi hasn't overhauled the Q7 since 2017, but they've kept it fresh with regular updates. This year, they've tweaked the front and rear styling, introduced new wheel designs, and added next-gen digital OLED lighting. You can also pick from some of new paint colors and interior trims. These changes make the Q7 stand out more. Most of the updates for 2025 are about the infotainment system. You can download popular apps like Spotify and YouTube with the Audi App Store. Audi also extends free trial subscriptions for various connected services, including Wi-Fi, online navigation, and the quirky traffic light information system. When looking at mid-size luxury SUVs, there are plenty of options. The main rivals are the BMW X5 and Mercedes-Benz GLE. Unlike the Q7, they don't have a standard third-row seat. It's optional. However, they do offer plug-in hybrid powertrains, which Audi doesn't. The Volvo XC90 also offers three rows and a PHEV option. Other contenders include the Acura MDX, Genesis GV80, Lexus TX, and Lincoln Aviator. Check out our expert rating below to help you decide. The Audi Q7 stands out as one of the top three-row luxury SUVs. It has a plush interior, smooth performance, and a wide array of tech features. Its only downsides are a tricky infotainment system and a cramped third row. So, how does the Q7 drive? In our tests, the V6-powered Q7 went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.6 seconds. That's pretty quick for a non-performance SUV. Whether taking off from a stop or speeding up on the freeway, the acceleration is smooth and fast, with no fuss. However, in comfort mode, the throttle can feel lazy unless you really step on it. The Q7's turning circle is a bit wide, which can be annoying. But other than that, its performance is solid. The braking is smooth, the gear shifts are barely noticeable, and there's minimal body roll, giving you the confidence to take corners at a good pace. How comfy is the Q7? It's definitely one of the more comfortable rides in its class. Road and wind noise are kept to a minimum, and the four-zone climate control does a great job of keeping the first and second rows cool or warm. However, the third row lacks vents, so those passengers might need to rely on airflow from the second row. Seat heating and ventilation are decent, though not particularly strong. The front seats are plush and supportive, perfect for long trips, but it's strange they only adjust eight ways, even in the top-tier prestige model. An extendable thigh cushion would have been super nice. The standard suspension offers a smooth, balanced ride. Interestingly, the optional air suspension makes the ride busier than expected. How's the interior? Well, it depends on your tech skills. Audi's two-touchscreen infotainment system might be confusing if you're not too tech-savvy. Despite various input methods, the complex menu structure demands much attention to navigate. On the brighter side, other aspects of the Q7's interior are quite appealing. The seating position offers a great front, side, and rear view. The first and second rows are spacious, and the third row is really just for kids. 
Accessing the third row can be a bit tricky due to the seat mechanism, but the front and rear doors provide easy entry to their respective rows. How's the tech in the Q7? Despite potential headaches with the dual touchscreen, the interface is sleek, visually appealing, and snappy. Voice controls might not match the top-notch systems from BMW and Mercedes, but they're still pretty solid. The advanced driving safety features perform admirably, and most of them come standard, making the Q7 a well-equipped option in terms of technology. How's the storage in the Q7? Cargo space ranges from 14.2 cubic feet behind the third row to 69.6 cubic feet with all rows folded down, which is pretty average for this class. The optional air suspension can lift or lower the rear end, making loading and unloading easier. The power folding third row seats are handy and work regardless of the second row seat positions. Interior storage is decent, with large door pockets being the most useful. Unusually, there are three seats of child safety seat anchors in the second row and two in the third row, giving you plenty of options for child seat placement. The V6-powered Q7 can tow up to 7,700 pounds with the optional tow package, which is great for recreational trailers. The four-cylinder version has a maximum capacity of 4,400 pounds. How's the fuel economy? The V6-powered Q7 gets an EPA-estimated 20 miles per gallon combined, 18 city and 23 highway. These figures aren't impressive for its class, but they are realistic. Our tests averaged 21 miles per gallon on a 115-mile route that mixes city and highway driving. Competitors in our test usually get less than 1 mile per gallon, which is better than their estimates. Is the Q7 a good value? Price-wise, it's on par with its German competitors and includes a nice set of standard features. Our prestige test model felt a bit pricier for what it offered, but lower trims provide better value. True to Audi's reputation, the interior design and materials are excellent. The basic and powertrain warranties cover 4 years or 50,000 miles, and roadside assistance is available for 40 years with no mileage limit. These are pretty standard for the segment. The Audi Q7 shows that you can haul the family and still have fun driving. Even though it was last redesigned in 2017, it still looks fresh and outperforms many of its rivals. This proves how high Audi set the bar when they first introduced it. We suggest going for the premium trim unless you absolutely need the amazing Bang & Olufsen sound system in the Premium Plus trim. With the money saved, you can opt for the turbocharged V6 in the Q755, which is more satisfying. Add the 20-inch wheels and the convenience package, and the Q755 Premium becomes a great value compared to its BMW and Mercedes-Benz rivals. The 2025 Audi Q7 is a mid-size SUV with three rows of seats, accommodating up to seven passengers. It comes in two versions, Q745 and Q755, with trim levels of Premium, Premium Plus, and Prestige. What do you guys think of the 2025 Audi Q7? Does it meet your expectations for a luxury SUV? Share your thoughts and comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.